Hazel McCallion died last month at the age of 101. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick has more on the funeral from Mississauga. Icon, legend, trailblazer. These are the ways that Hazel McCallion was remembered today at her funeral here in Mississauga. There were many members of the public who came to pay their respects, as well as many dignitaries. We heard from Lieutenant Governor Elizabeth Dowdswell, as well as Premier Doug Ford, who became quite a close personal friend of Hazel McCallion in the last couple of years. He shared some memories of her, how they would often have breakfast on Saturday mornings. He said she was always generous with her time, offering advice and wisdom, wisdom to him him uh, saying that she always kept her pulse on the people of Mississauga and that's what made her one of the greatest mayors Canada has ever seen. There isn't a single person who met Hazel who didn't leave in awe of her force of personality. Throughout her life, whether on the ice, in a boardroom, or on the floor of the council chamber, everyone knew Hazel was a force to be reckoned with. And if you didn't, you quickly found out. We also heard from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who talked about how he ran into Hazel McCallion during a trip to Italy and how the two of them went zip lining together. She was in her 80s at the time. He talked about what an inspiration she was, not just to people here in Mississauga, but across Canada. And he described her as a nation builder. No matter what, she always held true to her belief of putting people at the center of everything we do. And this should always be the priority for every elected official, for every order of government now and into the future. For all of us, let that be the enduring lesson and legacy of the great Hazel McCallion. We also heard from Mississauga's current mayor, Bonnie Crombie. She talked about what an inspiration Hazel McCallion was to women in politics. She said she not only opened the door for women in politics, but she smashed right through it. We also heard from the people of Mississauga who are missing their late mayor. McCallion led this city for 36 years. Many members of the public came to pay their respects. They had to get tickets to the funeral. They talked to me about how much they will miss McCallion and how grateful they are to her for building this city. She's come to our mosque functions, our community functions, um, anything small or large. She always, you know, I, I remember being a six-year-old girl and she was there for our, our first ballet recital. That was in the 70s, but she did a lot for Mississauga. Hazel McCallion was smart, intelligent, yet so humble. She loved people. She helped every everyone. We love her, we're gonna miss her, and I hope this city will be called McCallion City. Some described it as losing a family member. One woman telling me Hazel McCallion was like the mom of Mississauga. She certainly left her mark on this city. There are schools and libraries named after her, and as the current mayor, Bonnie Crombie, put it, this city won't be the same without her. Megan Fitzpatrick, CBC News, Mississauga.